What's going on everybody? Travis with REC Garage and in this video we're doing another walkthrough and cars for sale video of my buddy Chris's place. He's got some cars for sale, some really cool cars. So again, if you see something you like, I'm going to be going through them all. Some of these cars you've actually seen in my garage. I've worked on them, so that's kind of cool. Uh, so it's your chance to buy a car that I've worked on. I don't know if that's cool or not, but there it is. All right, I'm going to show you. First thing is a 33 pickup. Okay, hot rod, chopped. Can you see it? There it is. You know, I'm not an overhead valve guy. I think it's a small block, but it's, you know, been sitting outside forever. So, this car was built in 55, I believe, and the guy died in 57, two years after it was built. And it's been sitting ever since. Uh, it's been sitting outside, just a little unfortunate, but this thing is cool, man. The chop is just right. Uh, it's fixable. It's really fixable. Uh, the chop is nice. They even chopped down the pickup bed and did a really nice job. You can almost not even see the weld line there. All this really needs is a cow, and uh, you're back in business. Everything else, all the parts for this car, were stored inside of it, so they are really nice. Um, I don't actually, I'm not even sure. I think they were stored just inside, not even inside the car. I'll give you a look at some of the parts. So, here are the front fenders and running boards to this car. Pretty nice. Pretty nice fenders here, no dings, no rot. Uh, I think they were definitely stored inside, not inside the car. Rear fenders, really nice. Uh, front splash apron there. Got a set of headlight buckets that were on it. Let's see some other parts here. Might recognize this guy. So, here is part of the hood. Look at that. There's nothing wrong with this. The door. Look at the door. No rot on the bottom whatsoever. Really nice. And honestly, really nice chop job on it too. You really can't tell. These are really solid doors. Again, we get the other door here and the other, oh, the hood sides. Perfect. Just paint peeling, a little bit of grease on it. I don't know if it's stored underneath some kind of machine. Uh, the other hood top, again, perfect. All these parts that were stored inside are really nice. Here's the grill, 33 commercial grill. Oh, there's the chopped windshield right there. So again, it's hard with the light coming in from the door. Uh, but if you have any interest in this, shoot me an email. We'll get in contact, and uh, we can strike up a deal. That's a really cool car. Old drop axle. Old shock mounts welded right to the frame. Hearse mount. Really neat car. All right, kind of hijacking the video here. Um, I'm hanging out with Mickey. Uh, I have new shirts coming out. They're on the website for pre-order. You can check them out. I'm putting the design in here. I don't know where I'm going to put it. It's going to be here somewhere. I'm probably looking at it right now. So it is the shop. It is my metal shaping tools. It's my pull max, my power hammer. Uh, it's even got the back door to the abyss in there. Um, and 
I think it is awesome. It was designed by Jacqueline Davies. Uh, she's out in the UK. She did a killer job on this thing. Uh, so I'm really excited to have these out there. My first shirt that's actually designed by a real artist. Um, they're going to be printed on Comfort Colors. Uh, T-shirt, the color is called Pepper. It's kind of like a vintage black. Kind of looks like an old T-shirt without the rips in it. Um, it's really good quality. All made in the USA, dyed in the USA, printed in the USA. All good stuff. So I figured I'd jump on here, let you guys know. Um, I don't have a physical T-shirt with me right now. I do. I have had Comfort Colors before, and the shirts are so nice. It is a heavyweight t-shirt, so you guys in the South, I am sorry. Shirts are great. It's on pre-order right now. I'll probably give it a couple weeks uh, before I order the shirts, and then right when they come in, they'll go to you. Um, also getting some stickers in there, so anybody who orders the pre-order will get some stickers free. But yeah, I appreciate the support on the channel. Uh, it's going to be good, and I have other designs in the works. My merch is going to be stepped up. It's going to have nice designs now and maybe have stuff consistently in the store. Um, so I apologize to you guys who have wanted to buy t-shirts and I have nothing. Uh, they're good now and I'm going to have more stuff. So thanks guys. Back to the video. Next up, we got one that you guys are probably familiar with. 32 Vicky on a 32 frame, uh, original drop axle under there. You see that? Reverse eye spring. It's got no engine uh, not that I know of. Yep, no engine. Uh, it's all original stuff here besides the grill. That's the only thing that's not. That's a Brookville. Holder chop. I know you guys know a lot about this car, especially that rear corner there. Uh, fenders are nice. Look at that corner. Who did that? Yep. There's the other side of this car. floor mostly original she's got a patch in the center here and we got like a hot rod style floor in the front I made and put an insert in this car just came out great haven't seen that in a while so yeah it's got its bumps and bruises and stuff but you know needs a little bit of love on the other hand, it is a 32 Vicky, which are not common. Pretty cool car. Mostly together, kind of just get your parts, slap them on, do a couple fixes here and there. That'll be a badass hot rod. All right, next up. We got the 37 Club Cabriolet. It's got the top irons, all the fenders. It's got a da street rod dashboard, which is all right. I did the floors on this car, if you don't remember. You can check back on the videos, 37 Ford Cabriolet. I did these. So, let's see, it's got a set of skirts on it. It's got a D-art spring in the back. It's got a drop axle in the front. There's no engine, that's why it's still sitting a little high. It's got these really cool caps on it. Headlights, grill, so the hood sides are new old stock. This fender is new old stock. That rear fender is new old stock. Again, this is a good view of the car. Really, really cool. Just get set a motor in there, maybe drop the rear, take a couple more leaps out of the rear, and you got yourself a family tail dragger, man. This is cool. Top irons are here. Uh, what else? Got extra parts here. We got windshield seals. Got some front windshield garnishes. We got some fender mounts. I don't know what that is. 
tie rod, all the convertible front parts that go here in the middle and on the right. Both windows, driver and passenger with the stainless trim around. So this car is, there's a lot there. And it's really solid. Most of the metal work is all done. Uh, pretty much got to do some body work, paint. Put your own touches to it, and there you go. Like I said, you get yourself a family tail dragger. This is cool, man. I want to be building one of these. So you're going to see me actually take one of these from, maybe not start to finish, but from almost nothing to this stage. Um, let's see in here. It's got tail lights on it now. Oh, it might be locked. Yeah, he's got it latched at least. So the, that latches, but the trunk floor is all good. Nice deck lids. Really hard to find a nice deck lid for these 37s. Really cool. There's actually these caps all the way around. See? He didn't just put them in the front. So, again you like any of these cars, right there's my email. Shoot me an email. We can work out a deal. Um, what else? So just another thing about the sale. That pickup, bill of sale only. The 32 Vicky, bill of sale only. Uh, this one, he actually has it registered in his name, so there'll be no problems there with uh, getting that transferred over. These two, the closest to just do a little bit of work and have it your car. Um, it's not like someone else built the car. You won't have any issues with that. Like It's just at that perfect point that you can just add your motor, add your transmission, maybe tweak the stance a little bit, put some paint on it, put a seat in it, done. Same thing with that. There's not many chances you'll get to own a real 32 Vicky. All right, we got a couple bonus cars here. 49, Ford, what is this? Is it a business coupe or no? No, no. just a two-door. Pretty good condition, you know. It's a two-door, not, Billy calls them two-door uh, Ford something. He calls a two-door something. Tudor? Tudor, that's what he calls it. Oh yeah, no, the older ones are Tudors, but these aren't. I didn't look in here. Oh. All right. Trunk is pretty the nice. Thing they did, look, for some reason. What they do? They cut out two pieces on each, on each side. I don't oh, know why. Yeah. Maybe. And I had the fucking pieces and I threw them away. Because they oh. were in a bucket. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that happens. It's easy enough to fix it, though. Brand new rubber seal for the back. I put a one in the front. Yep. Got the seats in there and everything. No back seat. Oh, no back seat? You know what? No, I don't. Nice dash. There's two front seats, but I need one. Oh, yeah. New rubber seal right here. That's nice. So, 49. Just missing the markers on each side. It's not attached. Frame looks nice. You got the heater box. I mean, the heater thing and everything. Yep. So if you're interested in this one, I don't have any bumpers, huh? no bumpers. Then we got another shoe box over here. This one's got a repaint on it. This one's nice. He's got. He actually has new seats that have been reupholstered, black and white, at his house. Um, dash is nice. Everything's pretty nice. This thing's cherry. It just needs to be kind of finished and put back together. Got an APA in here. Nice. Nice project for somebody. Another one. I think this is open. Oh no. There's tape on the tape on the windows. But I don't know if you can see in there. Sorry. I'm just trying to get you. To see it. The glass is nice, the rubber is not all deteriorated on this car. It's probably been replaced. Let's see. Let's 
Same thing in here. Nice under here, right? Oh, yeah. That's nice in there. Floor is pretty good. It's a good car. Another one. If you're interested, shoot me an email. It's either going to be in the video in a bunch of places or might be under it the whole time or it might be in, it's definitely going to be in the description so let me know any of these cars you see around here is for sale and more 39 stuff look at this 39 back half pretty nice a few things and dents around but not not totally rotted out it's got the nice cast iron feet still on the corners it's a good piece I think he has a, everything else for this I think he's got doors he's got a cowl I think he's got an extra deck lid as I know he's got cowls over here I don't know which ones of these are sold but he has a few these are all convertible cowls with dashes and everything so you know let me know all right guys so that was it those cars if you have any questions on those cars please send me an email we can get in touch and also i'm putting my roadster pickup for sale if anybody wants that if anybody's interested in that because i know that is a very popular car around here if you guys are interested in that please send me an email uh, i got something in the works that unfortunately don't want to let it go but Kinda have to and you know what it's a road to pick up I can build another one if I have to um, this next car that I want is not so common so that being said um, I do have another motor that I will swap in because you guys know that that motor smokes there's scores in a few cylinders it is not the best motor uh, but I do have a really nice the uh, 48 59 AB so last year for the 59 AB it's a really nice running motor and I put it in uh, if someone you know if someone buys it I will swap that motor in and the only thing it does not come with is the fixed in intake that is on it um, that's a holy grail intake for me and I just cannot sell it with it I'll put another dual intake on there um, but yeah that's it everything else you know goes with it including that sweet 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 quick change that's under it um you know is what it is so let me know down below if you are interested in that uh but yeah so we got a 33 ford pickup hot rod all the sheet metal is perfect because it was stored inside besides the cab and the bed even though the bed is really nice the cab just needs a little bit of work but all the sheet metal, the doors, and everything else is really, really nice. Um, and we got the 32 Vicky that I worked on personally. I built that corner. Um, all the rest of the repairs I did not do, but I fixed the corner. Um, and, you know, it, it was shown on the video. Everything kind of, uh, everything that's up with it. It's not most perfect Vicky, but it's a 32 Vicky. You don't see a bunch of them, and it's steel, so really uh good opportunity here to own a really rare car um also 37 cabriolet uh, i personally also worked on that car did the front floors and a half of the rear floor um got the doors all lined up so another killer car he just put a drop axle into that and de-arts the rear leafs uh so it's sitting right once you put a motor in it, it's gonna sit real good with the skirts in the back too it's it's a killer car. Um, then we got a couple shoe boxes outside. Um, it's a black one painted. That one's nice. It's real nice. Uh, rebuilt flathead in it, but he has no paperwork, so it's just like, you know, we can't guarantee it, but it was rebuilt. Um, and he has front and rear seats freshly upholstered at his house uh, to go right in and so that's just another 
car that needs a little bit of work, it'll be right on. Um, and then the other one. So yeah, a bunch of stuff. If you're interested in any of those things, email me. I can get you more pictures. I can get you more info, uh, prices, all that kind of stuff. So let me know. I'm happy if you watch this video. I know sometimes it feels like I'm trying to push you guys to buy things. Uh, I'm just giving you opportunities. Uh, sometimes these things would only go up for sale locally and you might not see it. And if you're looking for this car, I want to kind of push it out there and get it out there. So let me know if you see anything and thanks for watching.